Hi, fifth graders. Today you're going to be completing the investigation three review. Uh, I'm going to start by going over the answers from yesterday's lesson 3.4. Um, and then there will be a quiz after this investigation. So let's look at what we did in 3.4. In 3.4a, you should have found that the distance across the river from stake one to tree one was 90 feet. The distance from tree one to tree two was 140 feet. The corresponding side length of the smaller triangle was 80. So you would have found that the scale factor was 1.75 from the small to the big. So then this, the distance from tree one to stake three was 210 feet. So you had to either do 120 plus 90 is 210 or 210 minus 120 is 90. In question B, the perimeter of the larger triangle oh, must be 1.75 times as great as the perimeter of the smaller. Since the triangles are similar, the perimeter would grow by 1.75. Um, for C, it says the answers will vary. Um, they thought one possible answer would be standing at stake three, look at tree one, have a friend place stake one as close to the river as possible, directly in line with you and tree one. Repeat this process for tree two and stake two. So they thought that's how they did it. Uh, stake three being first, then stake one, then stake two. It doesn't matter the order really. It just was kind of an idea of how you thought they might go about it. And in question D, you should have found that the distance was the same. This time the scale factor from the small to the large was four. This gives the distance between stake three and tree one as 120. From this, we would subtract the 30 feet that was three from stake one to three, and you would get 90 feet. All right, in investigation three review, you are using the grid below to make a right triangle with leg lengths of eight and 12. The leg lengths are the sides, the straight sides, not the diagonal part. So it wants an eight and a 12, and then you would, you know, connect the two. Give the leg lengths of two smaller triangles that are similar to the one you drew and have whole number side lengths. So what would be something you could do to the eight and the 12 to reduce it and get a similar triangle? B says copies of each smaller triangle can be put together exactly to exactly match the original. How many does it take to match the original? That answer is going to depend on what you said for question A. In question two, in the grid below, each unit is one centimeter on the grid. Make an isosceles triangle with a base and a height both equal to six. Isosceles is the one that has two sides the same. So you'd find the base and the height and then connect from the height to the two sides uh, to the ends of that one bottom base. A, can isosceles triangles with base and height equal to two centimeters be put together exactly to exactly match the shape of your original? Is each smaller triangle similar to the original? B says, can isosceles triangles with base and height of four be put together to match um, the original? Is each smaller triangle similar to the original? So up here, remember your base and your height was six. C, uh, three says, find the missing side lengths in each pair of similar triangles. So again, they're telling you they're similar. Find the missing length. In four, for each pair of similar figures, give the scale factor from A to B. So they're telling you they're similar. Give the scale factor from A to B. Notice this one looks like it's been flipped. And question five says the drawing below shows how a square foot and a square yard compare. How many square feet are in a square yard? Explain your reasoning. B, are square foot and a square yard similar? If so, what is the scale factor from foot to yard? And then what is the scale factor from yard to foot? Compare a square inch with a square foot. What is the scale factor from an inch to a foot? How many square inches are in a square foot? Explain. And compare a square inch with a square yard. What is the scale factor from a square inch to a square yard? So that was the investigation three review. There will be a quiz after this investigation. So complete this packet. And then um, remember it is in PDF copy in Schoology. Inside here, you could print it or you can just write the answers on, on a scratch piece of paper or in your notebook. 
And then there will be a listing of IXLs that you can complete as well, or you can go back and complete any of the ones that you haven't already done. All right, thanks for watching.